What's up, everybody? All right, guys. Um, opening my favorite box that I used to open as a kid. I must have opened hundreds of these. The 1989 Don Russ set. One of my favorite sets of all time. Got the Griffey Rookie, the Randy Johnson, the Gary Sheffield, the Craig Biggio, as I've talked about many times on this channel. So I'm super excited to open. I was so excited I had already opened like four packs in there already. So uh, hitting cards like this, Ricky Jordan. Um, remember this, the uh, the Conseco 4040. Um, Will Clark MVP card. Uh, then, of course, every pack has the uh, the Diamond Kings. Uh, this year had the uh, um, Warren Spawn Diamond King card uh, puzzle. And then, of course, you have the Rated Rookie. And uh, did not hit the Griffey, uh, but whenever I see this purple and the Rated Rookie, that means it might be a Griffey. But unfortunately, it wasn't a Griffey. It was Eric Hansen. So, <laughs> But that's what, uh, then, of course, Mike Schmidt. But um, that's what it's all about. Uh, I'm going to flip the camera over, and we're going to break through this box of 89 Don Russ. Let's go. All right, guys, before I get into the 89 Don Russ break, I just figured I'd show you some quick pickups. So I uh, got these two cards in the mail from Topps Project, finally. Uh, so this one is a Blake Jameson. Uh, really like this card of Mariano Rivera. And um, Blake Jameson, a big contributor in the YouTube community, uh, did the Hobby Palooza with us, which was awesome. So uh, really like this Mariana Rivera. Almost looks like, a, you know, a, a Metallica. Like that's what the Metallica logo looks like. And I guess he changed that to New York, which I thought was really cool. So, uh, and I just uh, broke open a box of 92 Bowman and did not hit the Mariana. <laughs> uh, and then this other card of Don Mattingly I thought was awesome. Uh, he got the, uh, the Hitman uh, up there, uh, Mattingly in the pinstripe suit. I remember a lot of people had that as a poster growing up and uh, just really like that card. So got uh, two new Topps Project 2020 cards. Um, I also opened up a box of rook the Rookie Explosion box. Uh, got nothing special. Um, this was literally it. The Vlad, the Otani, A-Rod, uh, Acuna, and Bichette. And then, you know, a couple of other cards here. Uh, nothing particularly special. Uh, some decent cards, but these are the, the the highlights. So I, I decided to not even make a, a... I actually recorded it and didn't even <laughs> post it. So those are the highlights of the Rookie Explosion Box Volume 20. But anyway, let's get in to the 89 Don Russ set. And it uh, should be fun to go through this. Um, I might be the only one excited about this. but <laughs> uh, All right, so let's get started. 89 Don Russ. Uh, see if we can get something cool here. So we have uh, Ron Oster, uh, Greg Harris, Caminiti, Ken Hill, Jack McDowell. I'm just going to go through this quick. So Tom Gordon, that's pretty nice. Uh, Johnny Paredes, uh, Tim Leary, Hensley Mullins, my boy. Uh, and that's it. You know what? Sometimes what I like to do is I'll go through, pick, up a, pick, pick open a pack, and see if I can name the players without even seeing the name. So uh, that, that was not a good example. Uh, don't know who that is. Oswaldo, per oh, Bobby Bonilla, checklist. Uh, don't know. Scott Terry. Um, this is not going well. Frank DePino. <laughs> don't know. Junior Ortiz, Tommy Glavin. I could tell that right away. Tom Glavin. Uh, let's see. Oh, I feel like I know Ken Hill. Oh, Jose Rio. Um, Dale Swain, Phil Bradley. Uh, don't know. Tim Flannery. Man, I stink at this. I used to be really good at this. Lenny Dykstra. Um, Felix Jose. I know that right away. Uh, and Curtis Wilkerson. Okay, so nothing much in that pack. Uh, let's see. Next. There's a Ripken. Very cool. Uh, Polonia. I can go through these so fast just because I've gone through them so many times. Uh, Bresley, so nothing there. Come on, Griffey. Let's see if I can hit a Griffey here. Oh, there we go. There's a Greg Maddox. Very cool. Uh, Kelly Downs, Jim Gott, Marvell Wynn, OB McDowell. Nope, nothing there. All right, let's 
Let's see. Oh, <laughs> right on the top. Oh, man, that's crazy. Right on the top. Uh, wow. Incredibly off-center. Uh, but there it is. There's the Griffey. Um, definitely not getting a PSA 10 on this one. Uh, but I'm just happy to hit it. Uh, really, really cool. Hit the Griffey with a couple, just a couple packs in. Uh, George Brett, Oral Horsheiser, Greenwell, Alan Trammell. Uh, nothing else there. All right, so we got one Griffey. I, I know that you know people sometimes will open a butt like an entire box of this and not hit one Griffey, and then I've seen people open a box and hit multiple Griffies. So there's always uh, it's definitely a good sign to hit it in one of the first packs that I open to hit a Griffey because maybe there's another one coming my way. You never know. Uh, David Cohn, my boy. Uh, Joe Price, Ozzy Smith. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that that the other day, but um, the uh, the Mike Trout 2009 Bowman Chrome Superfractor just sold for 3.9 million dollars, and that is just uh, insane. That is that is really insane. Uh, set the record, uh, actually beat the Honus Wagner, the T206 Honus Wagner. So for the the most that a card has ever sold for uh, the. Mike Trout, um, and it's pretty, really cool just to, you know, own, obviously I don't own the Super Fractor, but the fact that I own one of those cards is pretty cool, Kirby Puckett, so uh, I don't know what else is going on in the, uh, in the baseball card world, people going to, I mean, Target and Walmart, um, it's, it's getting insane where you, you cannot find any product, and I've seen uh, pictures on Blowout, and um, people just kind of mentioning that there is just nothing there and people like lining up, uh, you know, when the Excel rep shows up, it's, that's insane. I, I just, I, I can't believe what is going on with, uh, the baseball card market. It's, it's, and basketball is even worse. Oh, there's Kurt Schilling. Very nice. Kurt Schilling rookie. That one looks a lot better than the Griffey. Uh, so of course, uh, hit a nice Schilling, but, uh, there's a Dante Bichette rookie too. Uh, so I'll put that one aside. So hit the three of the big cards in this set. Edgar Martinez. Oh, and there's the John Schmoltz. That's awesome. I always say Schmoltz. People get on me all the time. I know it's Schmoltz. I don't know. I've always just said Schmoltz. So uh, people have really gotten on me for that. I apologize. It's just something that I say. Um, what else is going on? Um, so uh, the Yankees are playing again tonight um, after getting swept by the Rays. Um, but the good thing, the good news for the Yankees is that my boy Aaron Judge is back. So there's another Jose Canseco, 40-40. Um, so I'm happy about that. There's another Ricky Jordan. Um, happy to see my boy Aaron Judge back finally. Um, I think LeMayhew is still a couple weeks away. I don't know if we'll see Stanton again. Um, but, you know, the whole Stanton-Judge thing was fun while it lasted, which didn't last long at all. Uh, there's my boy David Wells, Kevin Gross, Geraldi. Um, obviously, this this break's going to be a lot quicker than the uh, <laughs> 92 uh, Bowman, which just had me dying the whole time uh, with the, the different... Um, if you guys haven't seen that or uh, checked that video out, you really should. It's, it's, it's hilarious. The uh, cards... That are in that set, uh, people dressed like they're uh, like they're ready to go to their high school prom, and the funny thing is that for a lot of those players, that was their only major league baseball card. So um, that's got to be a little <laughs> got a little be a little crazy. Like you, you have a baseball card, and it's like of you in front of a koi pond, you know, in like a really lame jacket. Oh, and there's the Randy Johnson. So we hit um, pretty much every rookie. Uh, that we want to hit. Um, obviously, we haven't. Well, we haven't hit the Biggio or the Gary Sheffield. And again, just like the Griffey, this one's way off center from left to right. But still, cool to add another uh, Randy Johnson to the collection. So, Randy Johnson back in the you know back when I was opening these, you know uh, when I was a kid, that card was not a big card in the set. Uh, it was like cards like. Uh, Oh, there's a Brady Anderson rookie uh, who had one big year. It was like, you know, Ricky uh, Jordan that I was just pointing out. Carlos Quintana, which uh, you guys saw earlier. I think the Griffey was kind of a bigger card. Uh, Greg Olson was a big card back then. Um, 
So Dave Stewart, there's a Bo, very cool. Bo Jackson, John Tudor. Um, glad I didn't, you know, this this uh, box only costed me, I think like $15 plus like $5 shipping or something like 20 bucks, something like that. So um, I could have gone baseball card exchange, but I just, you know, I don't really care that much <laughs> about, you know, like, and who's going to search a 1989 Don Russ uh, box. Like if you're going to, if somebody searched these and then took all the, you know, uh, you know, the best cards out of there, I, you know, I don't know why you, you oh, and there's a Griffey. <laughs> all right. Let me see if this one looks better. Uh, all right. Uh, I mean, if you search this, you, would you put two Griffey's in there? Oh my goodness. Ugh, that one's just, that one's even worse <laughs> in terms of centering. Uh, Nice corners and edges, I guess, but uh, man, oh man, it's so off center. It's like so badly cut. Uh, anyway, so two Griffies, pretty awesome there. Uh, another Brett. So I did notice, you know, I was like, you know what? I hit two Consecos, and there's the Mike Schmidt again. And you know, that's this. That's what you see with some of these older sets. Um, it's really bad in terms of, you know, uh, they're they're not cut right. Um, and then you see a lot of duplicates. Uh, it's, there's George Brett again, a lot of the same cards, but I'm happy to see a lot of the same cards because, um, we pretty much hit all of the big ones except for the Biggio and the Sheffield. And I'm sure I'm missing another card there somewhere, but, um, Spike Owen. All right. Jay Howell, Alex Madrid. There's the, uh, the puzzle. That's what, that's what it becomes. The Warren Spawn puzzle. Maybe I'll put that together later. Uh, Greg Olson. This was a big card back in the day. Um, I remember at one point I bought, I think, 50 of these Greg Olson cards. And uh, unfortunately, he did not pan out for me. Uh, Greg Olson, as we all know. Um, let's see. Todd Alex Sanchez rated rookie. Uh, Gary Reedus. Um, yeah, but basketball cards, I, it's, it's just been an, in, and I was looking at it earlier, a Luka Doncic rookie card is going for like $1,800. And I believe the population on that is probably somewhere between 10 to 15,000. It might be more in a PSA 10. Um, and then by comparison, you know, you look at like Juan Soto, who is hitting, I think as of this video, I think he's hitting 406. And um, his PSA 10, same amount of population, is going for about 270, 280. So, I mean, you're taking, you know, probably the biggest uh, star right now. Um, obviously, the biggest new star. Oh, and there's the Biggio. Very cool. <laughs> there is the Craig Biggio. Um, looks pretty good. Um, little off, I guess, left to right, but pretty nice. A lot better looking than the Griffey. Dalton. Um, but it's just amazing the difference, you know, between basketball and baseball prices nowadays. Uh, so 270 for the 2018 Tops Update Juan Soto, maybe 300, you know, depending on the day, and 1800 for the uh, Luka Doncic. Um, and Doncic, you know, obviously, you know, he's doing everything that he could possibly do to make his card value soar right now. Uh, just Hit a game winner, three pointer, and I don't even watch basketball, and I and I was aware of that. There's another Hal Morris. Am I going to get the exact same pack? <laughs> Fred Lynn, Pena, Rich Yet, uh, Pete Harnish, rookie again. So I knew there's nothing in that one because I saw that pack before that ended with Hal Morris, and I saw how it ended up. So um, okay, Tom Bolton, Wally Joyner. <clears throat> oh, and there is another Craig Biggio rookie. <laughs> That's awesome. So we pretty much, uh, I mean, you couldn't really ask for a better box um, of 89 Don Russ. So pretty cool um, going through all these, uh, sort of reliving my, my childhood. Total junk wax. Um, pretty much none of these cards are worth anything. Um, even if I get them graded, I don't think any of them will grade that well. Uh, there's another Will Clark. And Felix Fermin, okay. Um, so we only hit one Randy Johnson. <laughs> now, now I want 
uh, two of everything. Uh, Ron Oster, Ken Caminiti, Jack McDowell, uh, another Tom Gordon. I remember this pack from earlier. Hensley Mullins, I remember that. <laughs> Amazing. It's just the same cards over and over again. <clears throat> and then there are certain cards that I haven't even hit, like the Gary Sheffield. Uh, I think I see the... I don't know. I thought that was Greg Maddox. Uh... Keith Anderson, Bradley, Mark Grace, Will Clark. All right, nothing there. Two more packs to go. And then we'll do a quick recap and wrap this video up. Uh, let's see, Bobby Thigpen, Downing, Jesse Roscoe, Roger Clemens, Keith, and Billy Ripken. All right, last pack. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Always appreciate it. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It's a lot, I, there's a lot of people that watch my channel <laughs> that uh, never subscribe, so I noticed that a lot. Um, and then there's the boom. What a way to end it with the Greg Jeffries Rated Rookie. All right, guys, let me do a quick recap. So I went ahead and put the puzzle together. There it is, Warren Spawn. <laughs> it was pretty easy to put together. Um, there's the card. There's the card again. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it was pretty cool, actually, putting it together. I'd never actually seen it, so pretty cool looking. All right, now going to the recap. All right, guys, re recap time. Uh, I don't even know what I got here, but we got a couple of Hensley Mullins. Uh, we got a Clemens, Will Clark, Dave Wells, Ricky Jordan, Can Seiko. Curry Puckett, Ozzie Smith, David Cohn, Alan Trammell, George Brett, Greg Maddox, Cal Ripken, Tommy Gordon, rated rookie, Tony Gwen, Brady Anderson, Bo Jackson, Kirby Puckett again, George Brett, Mike Schmidt, George Brett again, Greg Olson, rated rookie, couple rated rookies there, boom. Uh, Oral Hersheiser, another Greg Olson, Lenny Dykstra, Felix Jose, Tommy Glavin, and Daryl Strawberry. Uh, Andre Dawson, Hal Morris, what else we got? Ken Caminiti, Will Clark, Mark Grace, Andre Dawson, Dwight Gooden, Greg Jeffries, Eric Hansen, Mike Schmidt, Doug Drabeck, Andre Dawson, George Brett, Robin Younts, Ricky Jordan again, Will Clark, Jose Canseco again, Paul O'Neill, Daryl Strawberry. You know, I, I, after I did all this, I noticed I didn't, I didn't hit Mattingly. After all that, I was like, oh, I didn't, uh, you know, uh, I hit pretty much everyone. There's Dante Bichette. Um, and then I didn't hit any Mattingly, so I'm kind of mad about that. I finally sleeved up the rookie explosion box hits, Bo Bichette, Acuna, A-Rod, Otani, Vlad, Talkman, even like our, you know, I don't know about you guys, but once you put a card in the, in the, in the penny sleeve and top order, they look so much nicer, even if it's a Mike Talkman, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, here are the hits, um, that I put into sleeves. We got the Kurt Schilling rookie. John Schmoltz, John Smoltz, I <laughs> did it again, <laughs> Edgar Martinez, uh, two Griffey rookies, look at that, look at those beauties, two Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards, definitely got to be happy about that, even though they're insanely off-center, I think this is the one I hit first, and this, the second one was even worse off-center, which was hard to believe, my boy Craig Biggio, you guys know I love the Craig Biggio cards. I've thrown a bunch of them in the middle of the street. <laughs> I've given somebody, I've given people, given these card, this card away. I put it into uh, Dunkin' Donuts containers as a tip. And then the Randy Johnson rookie. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Two 89 Dunruss Griffies. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.